Hey guys, Todd Domke here with you again, Product Manager for SolidWorks at Hawk Ridge. Today I wanted to talk to you about how you can close the loop in your design cycle using SolidWorks and eDrawings Professional. So to set the scenario here, I'm designing a new racing, uh, a clip-in racing pedal for a bike and I need some input from some stakeholders. Okay, I have my assembly drawing to the point where I cannot continue on without some input from some stakeholders, say uh, internally, could be manufacturing, purchasing, documentation, something like that. Externally, maybe a client I'm designing it for or a vendor who's going to help me make it. And it's a single one click to uh, save out an e-drawing so that anyone with any kind of computer uh, can view this thing and get some input. And so if you, with e-drawings professional, if you haven't looked at all the advanced collaboration tools, you owe it to yourself. Again, things like uh, dynamic sectioning planes and uh, being able to show your exploded views and animations, uh, measurement, taking measurements. Uh, but what we're going to focus on today is the markup capability. Okay, and this was added in 2013. Not the markup capabilities, these uh, redlining tools we have here for uh, marking up our drawings and adding input, those have been around for a long time. But there's something at the end here that we can do as of 2013 that's going to help us with that as I mentioned closing the loop. Okay, So uh, I have a couple concerns here. Uh, again we're just going to use these tools. Let's do like a cloud with a note. Okay let's say uh, maybe I, I need some uh, more dimensions here. I forgot to add some handles on the uh, graphics here that make it nice and easy to place it exactly how I need it. Uh, let's do another one here. Uh, this uh, raised logo, that concerns me. That's uh, not going to be cheap. It'll look great, but it's expensive. Okay, maybe something else uh, we can do. Again, just at least I can get my two cents in on the design. And now, as usual, uh, it saves these comments and I can save this e-drawing and send it back to the designer using SolidWorks. However, in 2013, we can now just save the markup file itself. Okay, and so those can be saved out, the markup file in its own uh, file type here. And now back, and rather than sending the whole e-drawing back, I can send just the comments. And so now, Rather than trying to manage these two files, the e-drawing and switching back and forth to the SolidWorks drawing, I can now just insert those markup files right into my native SolidWorks drawing, and that's the main difference here. Okay, you'll find it under the insert command, e-drawings markup file, and then you'll see exactly what was drawn in the e-drawings file can now be displayed right in the native SolidWorks drawing, and even in the tree here, if we look at the top, we're going to get a placeholder for all our e-drawings markups. Okay, so there's two of them, and we can uh, zoom in to each of these. But now this is basically like my instruction list of things that I need to accomplish on this drawing before I can move on, rather than going back to email and looking for that e-drawing or that fax that I can't read or that voicemail from two weeks ago. Uh, it's all here in my SolidWorks drawing, so it's a lot harder to miss something and not take care of something and as you do uh, you can then also check those things off so let's go ahead and add these dimensions they're asking for okay we get a nice overall dimension and uh, something for uh, and now once that's done I can go and then I can either hide or delete the markups Okay, so if I want to leave them there for future reference, no problem. If I'm done and I don't need that anymore, I can delete it. But it's a great way, again, of having all your information on your design data, which is the SolidWorks drawing, again, rather than all those different formats and trying to keep track of everything. 